Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see you here. Today I have again a very exciting video for you. As you can see, I am doing a five minute heatless curl hairstyle and uh, this is the result from my overnight sleeping. Before we start, if you like this hairstyle, don't forget to like or give me a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Now let me show you how I achieved this hairstyle and uh, how you can get it as well. So it is now the evening and I showered an hour and a half ago and I've let my hair air dry. It is not completely dry, it is still a little bit damp, especially here in the back, but uh, that is exactly what I want. Definitely don't uh, do it if your hair is completely wet uh, because uh, I did that and uh, when you wake up uh, the hair is still wet, but as you can see, it's a little bit of a bird's nest. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually brush my hair out. The next step is optional, but I do like to put some leave-in conditioner. This one is from Garnier. I just do it because my hair tends to be a little bit dry and uh, it's just easier to comb it. I just put a little bit in my hair and of course I concentrate most of it into my ends. So it's around this much, really not a lot. I just rub it in and leave it in. And what I like about this product is that it really doesn't leave my hair um, greasy or too oily. So now I just separate my hair into two parts and it doesn't have to be a perfect middle part. It doesn't really matter. The next step and the next thing that we need are two socks. And I also need two pins. I prefer these pins um, because they just lay flat on your head, but you can take also the normal bobby pins. It really doesn't make a difference. So what I do is I pin the sock to the top of my head, not too high because again, my hair is long, so it, the sock has to be long enough for the whole hair. Then I separate this section into two. And since my hair is a little bit shorter in the front, I just make sure to have all of it. And basically what I do is just take the front section and the back section and wrap it around the sock like this. And then I just repeat the whole process until the end. So it's really very, very simple and very fast, just like that. And I do it for as long as I can because I also want my ends to be curly like this and then I just take a normal hair tie a thin one and tie my hair around and now let's repeat the process on the other side don't seek perfection it doesn't have to be perfect because trust me the curls are gonna look beautiful either way and here it is if i wasn't talking so much it would take me literally like three minutes now i'm gonna go to bed do my skincare and uh, i will show you how i unwrap it and how i style it tomorrow morning so good morning it is now the next morning and i've been sleeping for eight and a half hours which is a good amount and it's also a good amount for the curls as you can see, the front pieces here still got loose, but honestly, I really don't mind. But let's open these up and see how it looks like. So as you can see, the curls are really tight, which is what I want right now. I'm just gonna unclip here the front pieces and remove the sock and as you can see the curls really turned out very beautiful they're very bouncy let's open the second side and try to fix it as best as we can in this case I only used two socks because my hair is not extremely thick if you have a lot more hair or it's thicker, you can also use four so socks and just separate uh, your hair into four sections. 
uh, but I think for me personally this works good enough. So what I do next is I just brush it out with my fingers a little bit. Uh, the front pieces here are not extremely curly and if you really want to um, you can curl them out a little bit so just so it gives a little bit of a nicer effect. Honestly, I have home office all day, so I'm not gonna bother. And also this is a no heat hairstyle. Um, I'm just gonna use this curl gel spray a little bit for them to hold a little better. I just spray this amount and warm it up in my hands and just use it on the ends, kind of scrunching it upwards. And uh, another reason why I love doing this hair is because this is the only style that actually stays in my hair for two days or even three days depending on how I take care of it when I do hairstyles with the heat and with the curler literally a few hours later my hair is straight again so this is another reason why it works really well and you saw for yourself that it takes only a few minutes and I love this curl of course with the time it's gonna fall out a little bit and it's not gonna be as curly and then it looks a bit more natural so yeah this was it this was the tutorial i hope you liked it let me know if you're gonna try it out if you have any other techniques maybe something that works better for you let's share with the community and um, yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again next week